I'm gonna patch in this ceiling here and spray it over back so it looks like popcorn texture. We got all the walls pulling off. So our next move is to go around and scrape a little bit off so once we get the drywall up, we can tape to that ceiling again. saying we cut these patches out so they're square we're going to be backing in the sides here wherever there's no studs on here have to screw it up on either side let's see if we got it all taped Sand it off, and then after we'll match it to this texture in the wall, and I'll show you. So the only thing I'll really miss is that you can't see this tape sitting here. Now that the patch is dry, we're going to go around and sand it off, get rid of any of these ridges, pull a sander. And once you figure you got it all flat, we're going to roll it with some primer so the texture sticks to the mud. Alright, we finished uh, sanding and we went around with a roller and just rolled some primer on it. That way, we can spray the popcorn texture. It'll stick to the ceiling. Any spots where you got angles, you just go around with a brush and brush them in where the roller wouldn't hit. Any kind of primer. And then next we will uh, start spraying. Use this snow tex for popcorn texture. And just mix it in a nice clean pail. It takes about 12 cups of water to mix a full bag. You just need a nice clean whip. And uh, drill to mix it up with and a machine to spray so once we get sprayed we'll turn it on so you can see how it works There we go. We're all done spraying. So, there's where the patch was. There's the existing ceiling. See, this is. There's the spray, the new stuff. There's the old stuff. Got it in pretty good. The last thing to do is just to give it a roll with a roller with some ceiling flat to hide the new white to the old white. We're going to use a paint sprayer, but you can do whatever tools you have handy. 